When it comes to the topic of measuring lengths and angles, we definitely can't overlook these devices. We're talking about a traditional folding ruler, a tape measure, a laser distance measuring device, and a spirit level. These devices are essential and should not be missing on a construction site or in a home workshop. But how about the idea of combining all these devices into one? That's exactly the idea a Sigmet had with the DTX-10, a 3-in-1 measuring device that combines the functions of these devices mentioned earlier. That sounds promising, but what can we really expect from this new measuring device? What does it have to offer, and how does it perform in testing? That's what we'll take a detailed look at in today's video. That's why I would say let's start right after the intro. If you haven't done so yet, quickly subscribe to this channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any future videos. You can find the current prices to support this channel below in the video description. Thank you for your support and let's get started. The DTX-10 from a Sigmet, a 3-in-1 device that combines these three devices in the background. In my opinion, this sounds definitely very interesting and promising. I'm curious about what we can really expect from this device today and how it performs in the test. The product box itself doesn't reveal much. On the front, a large illustration and next to it, the different measuring functions. There's not much else to see here. That's why I would say let's take a direct look at the contents. From the product box, we get a medium-sized carrying case with a rubberized handle on the top, no branding on the front or back. There's a zipper all around. Let's take another look at what's inside. As you can see, after opening the bag, the entire small accessory set comes out of the top half. This includes a quality certification, a user manual in multiple languages, including German, not to forget a small wrist strap and a USB Type-C cable. Directly below, a Ziploc bag with a small key, cross and allen, also included is a battery, and finally, the actual measuring device, the DTX-10. And this is how it looks now, the ultimate all-in-one measuring device from a Sigmet. At first glance, it might be a bit unconventional, as it is, as mentioned earlier, a combination of these three devices back here. A spirit level, a tape measure, and a laser distance measuring device. At first glance, I must admit I was a bit surprised, as the device is a bit larger than I'd imagined. We have a total length of approximately 205 millimeters, a total height of about 100 millimeters, and a weight, including the battery, of a solid 670 grams. Due to the quite large sized handle on the back, the device still has good handling, and I must say, the rubber coating adds to better slip resistance. From the handle, both right-handed and left-handed users can reach all the important buttons and controls, the measuring device has a total of 8 buttons and a large unlock button. After activation, the logo briefly appears and then the measuring device is ready for use. The special feature, at the head or at the very front of the device, there's a large 2-inch IPS display. This display is not only high resolution, but also offers high brightness and very good viewing angle stability, which is unfortunately not yet commonplace today. This means that the display can be read very well in practice, even when direct sunlight hits the device. Just below are, as mentioned earlier, all the controls for using or adjusting the measuring device. At this point, I can already say one thing, and that is that the range of functions is huge, so we definitely can't look at every detail here in the menu. The most important buttons are located on the top. On the left, the button to trigger the measurement, and on the right, next to it, the button to select the measuring point. In the middle is a large button to unlock the tape measure. By default, a realistic projection of the tape measure is displayed on the screen. The current value is not read by cameras or the like, but by a built-in photoelectric sensor, which decodes the coding on the tape measure. Because of this, the measuring device is supposed to achieve an accuracy of plus or minus one millimeter in the tape measuring method. I tested this in practice, and behold, the accuracy in this measuring method is indeed very precise. 
I could not detect tolerances exceeding one millimeter, meaning the accuracy matches the manufacturer's specifications. Also important to mention is that the tape measure has a width of 25 millimeters, is 3.5 meters long, and is therefore completely sufficient. It's quite stable and can be replaced independently. This means that there are several screws on the device. After opening, we as users can replace the tape measure without voiding the warranty. So much for measurement method number one. Variant number two is the laser distance measuring device. This is located up here, and with it, I can now measure distances contactlessly. Of course, I first need to retract the tape measure, and then I can measure distances up to 120 meters here at this red point. In this measurement method, I extensively check the accuracy of the device with the Lyco Disto, and I can say that the accuracy depends on the respective reference point. This means that if we choose the laser line up front as the reference point, we have pretty good accuracy of only plus or minus 1.5 millimeters, which is definitely impressive. On the other hand, the reference point back here showed accuracies ranging from plus or minus 2 to plus or minus 4 millimeters, which is, of course, a bit more when related to the laser line. And finally, the last measurement method does not refer to a length measurement, but rather to an angle measurement. This means that with this device, we can also measure inclinations. For this purpose, I quickly changed the view and you can see the current inclination in the upper right corner. This means we can simply place this device on a surface and check whether it's truly horizontal or has a corresponding inclination. Who would have thought? I also put these inclinations to the test for you with this calibrated digital level from Bosch. By the way, if you haven't seen the video about this device yet, you can check it out right here. I'll link the video on the info card. Said and done. With this level, I checked the little DTX-10 and behold, the accuracies regarding the angle measurement are also very precise. I could only detect a deviation of 0.5 degrees between these two. Regarding the correct reference points, I can say that this small device is quite precise and can definitely impress. Just like the range of functions, which, however, is even larger than what we've just seen. In the settings, it's not only possible to choose between different units of measurement, such as meters, inches, inch, or feet, but we can also select different display modes and perform dozens of measurement operations. In practice, I can use the measuring device wherever I would use a regular tape measure or a ruler. I can take overall measurements, set the zero point myself, thus taking intermediate measurements. I can perform various arithmetic operations, such as adding or subtracting lengths. And all this data is stored in the device, and I can recall the measurements afterward. This applies to laser distance measurement as well. I can determine different individual lengths, conduct a live measurement, and of course, perform various calculations such as area or volume calculations. These values are also stored and can be subsequently retrieved either directly on the device or through the smart function on the phone. Yes, you heard it right, this little thing is Bluetooth enabled and can be directly connected to a smartphone. I've thoroughly tested this as well. For this, we need the Smart Live app, which is freely available, and I can say the connection works quite well. Download the app, open it, put the device in pairing mode, and then the connection happens almost automatically. The device is displayed and we just need to click connect, and we're already connected to the device and can transmit the measurements live to the corresponding mobile device. And finally, another extremely important point, namely the battery life. At this point, a slight drawback comes into play because the device, or rather the battery, unfortunately cannot be charged from the outside. This means that to charge the device, or rather the lithium-ion battery, we must first remove this battery. There's a small cross screw on the back for this purpose. Only then can we recharge the battery via USB Type-C. At this point, I definitely would have wished for another port outside the device or at least for the back cover to be opened without tools because this way, you always need a crosshead screwdriver to charge the battery. 
On the positive side, the lithium-ion battery, with its capacity of 18.98 watt-hours, is sufficiently large to easily last the device throughout the day. On the other hand, for those who are a bit more conservative and don't constantly have all laser lines activated, they can easily go through several work days with a single charging cycle. All in all, I could say that a Sigmet's ultimate measuring device, the DTX-10, makes a solid impression. It works well, has numerous customization options, and a vast range of functions. The only thing I would wish for is an optimized charging solution. Otherwise, there's not much to criticize here. The device is recommended for anyone looking for a truly ultimate all-in-one tool. So, that's it from my side. Now it's your turn. What do you think of this device? Feel free to share your opinion in the comments below. I'm very eager to hear your feedback. And if you enjoyed the video, please show it with a thumbs up. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to this channel and activating the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. You can find the prices, as mentioned earlier, in the video description. Thank you very much for your support, and with that, take care until next time. Goodbye.